Welcome to workout number two of our monthly movement challenge. For today's workout, it's gonna be focused on the core. And so we have the one-sided farmer's carry, which is gonna help with that anti-lateral flexion, so helping us maintain an upright position while holding weight just on one side. We have our upward chop, which is gonna be a rotational movement to help with the anterior oblique sling, which is the oblique crossing this front pubic joint to the inner thigh, so it helps with rotation to the front. And then we'll finish up with our one-sided squat, which is another anti-lateral flexion movement, incorporating its hip extension as well. The first movement we have is the one-sided farmer's carry. You're gonna hold a weight or something just on one side. If you have a child, you can just hold a child on one side as well. The weight can be either down by your side or it can be up by your shoulder. It's just up to you which one you wanna do. If you don't have a ton of space to walk around, we can also just do standing marches. And so you'll just lift one leg up. The higher the leg, the harder this will be. Then then lower it down and then switch to the other side. As you do this movement, we wanna focus on not leaning away from the weight or towards the weight as we go. And then same thing as you're walking. When you're walking, we're trying to keep this centered position without leaning away from the weight. So the weight should be heavy enough to where you feel like you're resisting a lean. So we have to maintain this upright position, but it also depends on the equipment that you have available for you. The next movement we have is the upward chop. You can continue to use a dumbbell, but you may need to drop to a lighter one. So we'll start in a half kneeling position. You'll start towards that down knee, and then you're going to rotate to come up towards the opposite shoulder. Inhale to lower down, and then exhale to come up, and pause at the top for a second. The way that we can advance this is you can come up on this back toe. You're gonna be here, and then you're gonna extend in the hip as you rotate towards the upward shoulder. So inhale to lower, exhale to come up and rotate to the opposite shoulder. The next movement that we have is a one-sided squat. You're gonna bring the weight towards one shoulder and you're gonna inhale to lower down, exhale to come on up. As you do this, you're trying to avoid leaning away or towards the weight as we squat. The way that we can regress this movement is to do a box squat. So instead of just doing an air squat, we can lower down to something to provide some support at the bottom. So holding the weight up by your shoulder, inhale to lower down, touch the box, but we don't wanna completely sit down. So maintain that forward lean and then exhale to come on up. So inhale down, just kind of tap, and then exhale to come back up. For this workout, we have three rounds, 30 seconds each. If you're doing it on your own, it'll be 30 seconds per side for the farmer's carry, and then 10 reps of the upward chops and 10 reps of the squats per side. So holding your weight on one side for the one-sided farmer's carry, you can either walk back and forth for 30 seconds, or you can do standing marches. If you don't have a ton of space availability, the standing marches may be a better option for you. So just breathe as is normal, and then focus on lifting the leg up. The higher the knee comes, the harder this movement will be. And as you do this, avoid leaning away from the weight. So just breathing as is normal, really focus on maintaining the center torso position as you hold the weight. And then switching to the other side. So just put the weight in the other hand. You can walk back and forth or we can march in place and same thing. The higher the knees come, the harder this movement will be. So breathe as is normal for you, focusing on maintaining that center torso position. You may find that the side you typically carry stuff on is a lot easier for you, so maybe spend a little bit more time on that opposite side. Coming into our half kneeling upward chops. So come into a half kneeling position. If you wanna do the split squat, you can to advance this movement. Weight is down by the down knee. Exhale to come up to the upward shoulder, pause, and then inhale to lower back down. So I'm gonna exhale, come up, pause, and then inhale to lower down. So I don't wanna swing the weight and have tons of momentum. I want this to be slow and controlled. And you should feel this kind of diagonal activation pattern across the core. Cross the front of the pelvis into that forward leg inner thigh. And then switching to the opposite side. So bring in the other knee forward. If you're doing the split squat, you're coming into the same position. Let weight is gonna be down by that down knee. Exhale to come on up, pause, and then inhale to lower down.
coming to our one-sided squat now. So if you need to do the box squat variation, you can. Bring in the weight up towards one shoulder. Feet are giving out hip distance apart, toes slightly pointed out. And then inhale to lower down, exhale to come up. Really focusing on not leaning away from the weight as you come down. Sometimes it's almost like twisting that happens. Inhale down, exhale to lift up in the pelvic floor as you come up. Switching to the opposite side. So bringing that weight to the other shoulder now. And then same thing, if you need to do it down to a box, feel free, it's gonna regress it just a little bit. You can also come down to your knees as you do this as well, if you're like really early postpartum. Inhales down, exhales to come up. Moving into round number two with that one-sided farmer's carry. So holding the weight down by one side, either walking back and forth or doing standing marches. The higher the knees come, the harder this movement will be. And then you can even pause at the top for a second and then switch sides to really work on that balance as well. and switching to the opposite side. So placing that weight in the other hand now. And then we can either walk back and forth or do standing marches. Really focusing on maintaining that center torso position as you go. Again, there's usually a tendency to lean away from the weight that you're holding. Coming into that half lunge position for that upward chop, bringing the weight down by your side, you're gonna exhale to rotate it upwards. So having the weight down by that down knee, exhale to come on up, pause, and then inhale to lower down. Exhale, come up, inhale to lower down. If you're finding that you're having a hard time balancing in this, make sure that the feet are in separate lanes so we don't want them to be completely lined up with one another, making sure they're a little bit wider so that we increase our base of support. Exhale up, inhale down. And then switching to the other side. So bringing that other knee up, same thing, ensure that your feet are in separate lanes, so we're not completely aligned. And then exhale, come up, inhale down. Pause at the top, exhale up and pause, and then inhale, come down. So moving to our one-sided squat, if you're really early postpartum and you're finding the squats are a little too much, we can also do this from our knees. So holding the weight by your side, inhale to lower down, exhale to extend the hip on up, inhale down, exhale up. And then switching to the other side. So again, if you're like four to six weeks postpartum, you may find the kneeling squat variation feels a little bit better for you. So bringing the weight up towards the opposite shoulder, exhale to extend the hips or stand up, inhale to lower down.
And then final round back to our farmer's carry. So come to your standing position, either walking back and forth or marching in place. So holding the weight to one side, begin to march in place or walk back and forth, ensuring that we're maintaining that center torso position, so not leaning away from the weight. Switching to the other side. So if you are baby wearing for this workout, we do want to focus on not like leaning back a lot to bring baby more midline. So we want to have baby be towards the center as well. So begin to march in place, paying attention to your torso positioning both to the front and the back. So we're not leaning back here as we baby carry. We're still maintaining that neutral spine position, but now our back's gonna have to work a little bit more to maintain this position without having to shift back to bring baby there. Coming to our half kneeling lunge. So drop down to that bottom position, bring the weight down towards that down knee. We're gonna exhale to bring the weight up. So exhale, bring the weight up and pause. Inhale, down. Exhale. So making sure that the knee and the foot are in separate lanes so we're not completely aligned with one another. And as you go back and forth, you may notice that the knee pushes forward when you have that open hip position and the knee shifts back as you rotate. And that's totally normal and actually great to happen. Switch to the other side. So again, as you go, you wanna think push the knee forward, drive the knee back, and that's gonna help with more hip range of motion. So reaching down, knee forward, exhale, drive that knee back as you come up. Inhale down, exhale up. Pause at the top, inhale down. Coming to our one-sided squat. So again, we can just do a normal squat, box squat, or even the kneeling squat variation. Bringing that weight up towards one side, maintain that center torso position. Inhale down, exhale, lift up in the pelvic floor as we come up. So inhale down, exhale up. You can also inhale at the top if you're feeling better with pressure management. So big inhale, big inhale. switching sides. So it's really important to learn how to coordinate our breath to movement. So my diaphragm, my pelvic floor's movement in relation to the movement that I'm actually doing. Inhale down, exhale up, because that's how we stabilize. So as I'm lowering in movements, I'm moving with gravity or with resistance, I wanna focus on inhaling to increase pressure within my abdominal cavity. And then when I exhale, I'm moving with or against resistance, against gravity. And I want to increase the muscular force to counter that increase of pressure with exertion. So inhales are down, exhales to lift up. And that concludes workout number two. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can get all 25 workouts during this monthly challenge.